Hello and good morning everybody, this is Oni Mike and I'm bringing you back with Thrive Island. This is episode 3 and last where we left off we were building La Radisson. Well, amongst building La Radisson, um, I had a window major, major error. Oh, here I go with the E again. So I had a big, big error and um, my whole windows crashed. Uh, I saved what I could. But I had to start a lot of games over for the most part. I lost my saved games. So as you can see here. Oh, and this was just a test underneath here. Getting rid of that. Um, oh, wow. That must be the recording what's going on there. Eee, that's really jotty. That's, I don't know about that. But anyways, what I did was... Um, I did a couple of different, uh, I laid things differently, like the slope. Last time the slope was facing the other way, and I turned it around. And I, I built this up like we had it. Besides this part over here, this was a little bit of add-on. Um, this slope was added differently. And then I came up, and what we're going to do, we're going to go off the side here. Oh, shoot did it again <laughs> what we're gonna do here we're gonna come off this side and we're gonna build this side exactly like the other one okay these are gonna be rooms also and then I think we're gonna go up from inside here and then we're gonna come back over and we're gonna go up above this so there's gonna be a gap in between there and um, there's gonna be a section of building that connects all the way all the way across to back here to all the way back here okay now like I said we're gonna keep building out and uh, we're gonna make individual rooms off along this um, now one thing oh shoot now uh, like I said I did build some extra things onto it um, aside from what we originally had and amongst building you know I felt bad and I felt like I was cheating on you guys. So I, I really had to stop myself because I was getting into the building. And so, yeah, that's that's what we got so far, guys. And another thing I need to get is some more iron and some more sleeping furs because I don't have any bear skins. I don't have any iron hatchet or anything like that. Uh, I know I should have concentrated on that. But I really wanted to, you know, get this building up again so we can continue on um, with the building aspect of it because we can always go and find stuff so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna come out here we're gonna go try to find us some iron because we don't have any and I need to make me a stone pickaxe real fast here, let's make one of these guys up. <coughs> and, yeah. So, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome. And thank you to everyone that is here right now. And everything's been working out a lot better. Uh, getting everything back in working order. Uh, I'm going to figure out why this video is so jumpy. So this will be jumpy, but we'll figure out what's going on with the next ones. And, you know, we'll go from there. I think I need my uh, lagless, lossless kind of deal. Uh, actually, let me... You know what? We're going to do that right now. Okay? We're going to pause this video. Okay? And then when we come back... We will continue, and we were right here, so we will be right back here. Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. Now what I did, I went and uh, installed the lagless codec. So, we're getting um, less jumpiness than we were, but it's still pretty jumpy. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if there's any other codecs out there that I can use that will actually take away that problem um, but I will look around and see what I can find 
I would like to find something anyways that, that gives me a smaller file size because once I get done with just a normal 20 minute video, I mean honestly they, they, they say it's like 7 gigs and I know it's nowhere near 7 gigs so then I have to hand break it and it really tears down the quality of each video I've been trying to do and you know it, it, as crappy as my system is you know it I still play better than than what the initial my output videos are which really stink because you know I have to tear them down and compress them so much to actually be able to upload them because I can't sit here and upload a 7 gig file there, there's no way there's no way um, right now I'm only getting 300 kbs a second you know so that's that's no bueno for upload speed <laughs> and anyone that does any kind of recording will tell you that yeah y you'll be sitting there forever and that's a lot of the reason also why it takes so long for videos to come out because it, it, it takes me you know a good three hours to upload a 20 minute video um, so you know if you guys um, are always wondering you know oh, where's this guy at Where, where's the videos and everything else I, I mean that's what's going on and I ask for you to please hang in there with me things will get better like I said new system coming out I'm actually going to do an update video on um, the system that we will be getting if all goes well you know and if all goes well means that we don't get taxed out the ass for not having Medicaid because as it is right now um, oops I have a lawsuit against me I just got it in the mail which is awesome got a lawsuit against me for going to the hospital for a dog bite and the only thing that they did was if you've seen my other video was I said before uh, they poured some iodine on it and gave me a prescription for antibiotics and that was it and they want me to pay them damn near a thousand dollars and I'm not doing it I'm sorry I'm not doing it I'm not giving them a fucking thousand dollars for pouring some damn iodine on me not doing it so any doctors or anything watching right now I know this Obamacare crap has got you guys fucked up but you guys really need to stand up and do something about that because this is bull crap you know the American people can't even get uh, rightful treatment uh, without being scolded constantly you know uh, that they, they want us to pay for taxes and they want us to pay for this and they want us to pay for illegals and they want us to to, to pay for you know wars uh, in, in third world countries because you know uh, uh, their life is shitty you know what so is everyone else's you know we, we gotta work on ourselves, and that goes for every other country also you gotta work on yourself you work on yourself and then we band together and make shit better Ah, damn it, I'm so tired of this crap. I'm sorry, guys. I'm in rant mode right now because that letter just really pissed me off. And yes, I'm going to be using some vulgar language because that shit really pissed me off. You're going to sue me because I come in there with a dog bite and this is your fucking job and I get sued? You know, a, a thousand dollars? You could have gave me a fifty dollar bill. I pay a fifty dollar bill all day. Yeah, it's worth fifty, fifty bucks, you know. I got in there, you know, it wasn't any serious damage. I mean, I could have used some uh, stitches and stuff, but, you know, didn't get none of that done. And uh, it, nothing happened. Nothing happened, literally. And and so that just really angers me that that happens, and, and that's what's going on nowadays. And I see so many people praising this Obama you know he's done nothing but rip this country down I don't know if you guys see it and don't look at that gas price because that gas price should have been down you know why it was up it's called war okay and this is what it's always been about it's about money 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 you know and then when they can't steal the fucking oil from other places they're gonna jack up our prices and that's how it's been going and that's how it's always went and that's probably how it's always gonna go until we actually stand up and take a stand against these fuckers that call themselves our leaders but lead like a bunch of fucking two-year-olds with the damn hands down their pants I swear they couldn't play follow the leader if they had to 
bunch of useless fucking politicians. I promise you, useless. They do crap for anybody. I see, and you know, I have nothing against anyone, okay? I promise you, I have nothing against nobody, but you know, I'm seeing so many illegals getting help, and, and, and we're trying so hard here, and I mean, we just get shit on and get shit on and get shit on and get shit on as Americans and as taxpayers, we just get shit on nonstop, you know? And, and they give everything else away to everyone else. And it's it's coming from everyone else's. It's coming from our tax dollars, people. Our tax dollars. You know. Do do you drive a busted up vehicle? You know. Do you have shitty internet? Do do you not have cell phone connection? I don't have cell phone connection. I have a cell phone. You know why? Because it was Black Friday, and I found that fucker on sale for thirty bucks. Normally it was like a hundred and twenty. <coughs> Excuse me. That was one good thing, you know, that, that, that came out of Chinese products it is that we get to buy them on sale after the day that we're thankful. But, you know, which that really sucks, too, because we would pay honest money for everything if we could. And, and we really would, you know. But, no, we got to wait until we're flat busted, you know, to... to do anything. I mean, not wait until we're flat busted, but we're flat busted. So we always have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And then we get that one time of the year where all us broke folk can get out there and actually buy something that we want. You know, I just, I just find it messed up, guys. I just find it really messed up. If you find it messed up too, you know, please comment down below because, you know, I, I've seen nothing good coming out of this world nowadays. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse it's like the harder we try as Americans the more we get shit on and I for one am just frankly tired of it I am just really tired of it you know what in Canada they are the number one employ unemployed country you know around us and they still have medical you know and even if they don't, and even if they didn't, you know, how do you sue people for, for needing to go to the hospital and not being able to pay their fucking outrageous, ridiculous prices? And if you do have insurance, you know, instead of a $1,000 bill, it's going to be a $40,000 bill that they give to your insurance company where you still have to pay a $1,000 fucking copay, you know? It, it, it's, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. And then your insurance rates get jacked up. You know, tell me where the fuck does this make any sense at all? I have no idea. But you know, l let me let me try to stray away from this topic and uh, get back into the game. It looks like it's nighttime because my oh, dude, my radiation's going up. Oh, I'm in the radiated zone, huh? And my temperature's going down, so that obviously tells me it is nighttime. I want to try to get the rest of these stones because I, I got some decent iron from them. So I want to get that up right quick and get back to our Huskow. I can always make up a torch. I don't think the torch keeps you warm. And if not, maybe we'll just stay the night in here. Who knows? I don't know. Making up a torch. Making up a torch. All right. Get out of here. So, let's see if our... Nope, it doesn't. But you know what? Screw it. This is iron. Coal. Coal. Oh, it's a bunch of coal. That's cool. We need some coal anyways. I wish you could burn coal. I mean, I guess you don't have to burn wood, so it really doesn't matter. But it'd be nice. Okay, I don't need that much coal. Dude! What is that? Is that Satan? Was Satan down here? Is that why I'm being radiated? Ooh, yes. Yeah, so look at all this iron. We want to keep getting this iron, guys. 
That's one thing we really want. So that's one thing we will remember and we'll jot down that cave holds a lot of iron. So good shit. And we'll get back to the Hooskow and we'll, we'll, we will craft us up some, uh, actually, you know what? I could do that right now. I got the, I got the anvil. I got everything on me right here. Um, that's just more coal. Let me go ahead and make a fire. Guys, we're camping out in the cave tonight. That's what's happening. That's what's going on here. Uh, where are you at? A fire pit. Craft. Now, see, I'm not all this stone. We got 300 stone. Uh, almost 300. 296 and 36 logs. Now, logs we get pretty, pretty easily. You know, it, it doesn't take long to get to get logs. All right, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Let's uh, put this down. Where is it? Dude, it just disappeared. Oh, man. Well, that stinks. Okay. So, note to self. No campfires in the cave. Um, Dev... Uh, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but, you know, your campfires are disappearing in the cave, which really kind of stink, because that means now I have to go outside and use it. I have to expose myself when I could have just stayed in this nice, beautiful cave and slept with the bears. I know, there's no bears in here. You would think there would be at least one bear in a cave, you know, since that's... You know, normally where you hear about them living is in a cave. Oh, watch out. There's bears in caves. Not in this one, guys. Radiation and devil bones. And it's daytime. Ah, oh, maybe you just get cold because you're in the cave. Okay. Oh, so maybe so maybe they did that on purpose. Okay, maybe the de uh, developer did that on purpose. Um, going into the cave, you know you risk uh, exposure to obviously radiation and lower temperatures so I, I can I can dig that I mean I, I can actually give this back I don't I don't have the iron yet I have to forge the iron first that's right okay we take this and then we go to the iron and move we're gonna move it up here Let's go ahead and cook some iron. I'm going to smelt some iron up. Smelt it. Smelt it good. Now, the reason why I'm doing this right now on the go is because I want to go try to find a bear real fast so we can get us uh, sleeping fur, so we can sleep through the night and we don't have to deal with, you know, oh, let me come back and wait and let me come back and wait and let me come back and wait. You know, that way we can just sleep through the night and keep going. Because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I hate pausing the video. I hate coming back. I hate rendering it out and editing it. I'm not going to say I hate it, but, you know, I have been having a lot of fun with the whole video editing and everything. And been getting pretty decent at it. And I know I haven't done a whole lot of professional videos or anything yet. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I work with what I got. You know, that's about it, guys. I, I work with what I got. So let's go ahead and get this crafted up. Bam. Shazam. Oops. What's going on here? Oh, okay, here. We want to make an iron hatchet. Yes, smith it, please. Smith and Wesson. Thank you. And get out of here. Give me this back. Go back to our crafting window. Sure, take it, why not? And we need a tool. Iron hatchet. And once we get this up, then, you know, we do a lot more damage with this than we do the stone hatchet. So, 
that's what will get us our bear. Because you don't want to run after the bears um, with just a regular hatchet. Because you will die. They will kill you. Because the stone hatchet does a lot less damage. Now, if you haven't joined me for the rest of the series and you didn't see the initial beginning, here, I'll show you really fast. When you click on it, oh, it doesn't tell you. Okay, here, you got to be in the crafting menu to see it. So, in the crafting menu here, you can see 10 seconds to make, 3 stones and 2 logs are required to make it, and it does 1.2 damage. Iron hatchet, same 10 seconds, the iron head, two logs, but it does 3.25. So you do three and a quarter damage versus your 1.2 damage, which is a big, big number. Especially when it comes to these bears, because these bears do a lot more damage than the boars. Um, I have been reading uh, some news for this game, and some news is... They are coming out with a new update. <coughs> don't know the exact date. They don't have the date. So, you know, I don't know it. As soon as they know it, I'll know it. And y'all will know it. Um, but they're going to be adding more animals. Um, they're talking about adding uh, multiplayer. Hopefully, it'll come out with this update. I've seen some screenshots of them you know testing out the multiplayer and it's a bunch of these little guys uh, with no shirts running around hopefully we'll be able to use the bear skin in the future for like clothing you know maybe we can actually put on a shirt you know make a bear skin shirt or a robe or something like that so we can cover up this guy's naked body so he doesn't get so cold at night you know I think that would be cool feature for at night is to have the bear skin um, just to be able to run around with it and instead of just a sleeping fur, you know. But like I said, dude has a lot more plans. What's his name? John Wright, I believe, is the developer's name. Has a lot more plans, you know, going into this game. And so far, it's really awesome. I love, I, I do really like the crafting and the building on it. Uh, like I said, some of the timing on the crafting could be tweaked, and it would not bother me at all. And I did not see one bear. I'm going back towards the house, and I didn't see a bear. I really wanted to kill a bear because I need his skin. I need your skin. I need your soul. Your soul will be mine. <laughs> Please shot it. <laughs> no help. Okay, that's enough of that. Now these are some pretty cool looking trees. They're freaking huge, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I really want to find out why it jumps like that. Because it's only this game. I mean look at it. Look jump, 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 jump. So glitchy, glotchy. You know, and it runs so smoothly normally I mean it runs very very smoothly and I mean right now I'm not getting like horrible frame rates or anything like that Ooh, is that a bear or is that just a pig I think it's just a pig no that's a bear yeah what bear what it must be a black bear cuz he's short he's very short Wow what negative 11 what do you think about those Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Drop it. Drop it. Yes, please drop it. Whew. Oh shit. Oh shit. I need more room, guys. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Uh drop it. Drop it please, 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 please. Exit. Exit. Oh phew. Okay. There. We got our stuff. We got our bear fur and our other thing we dropped a wooden door and a stone pickaxe easily replaceable very easily replaceable I was gonna drop the blueberries but you know what that's food and food comes far and few in between in this game you kill animals or you find berries that's your food for now um, 
in one of my videos I don't know if it was the first or the second one I believe it might have been the second one um, I, I seen a glitch when we were crafting and there was a bunch of consumables it said and it looked like a hamburger but it said apple pie so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that because you can obviously tell they have more into it they're just not releasing it yet and that glitch showed us that you know more is definitely coming and I just can't wait because as much as I do like this building and uh, you know the style and stuff you know what he's doing they're setting up spawn points from your sleeping fur so that way we'll actually be able to spawn where we put our sleeping fur at and everything else and so yeah just really looking forward to that it's gonna be really awesome we're gonna eat this uh, bear meat and yeah eat that up right quick yum 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 all right now see what I did guys it, it was a test just to see what would happen you know kind of minecrafty style I wanted to check it out oh shit oh shit stop drop and roll stop drop and roll oh you didn't stop you just kept jumping <laughs> um, holy crap that does a lot of damage anyways what I did was knock out this bottom thing that this little bottom cabin that we had there I knocked that out and she stayed afloat you know she did stay afloat yes I am going to replace it I am and uh, I didn't mean to actually save it but there is no you know save and don't save option to this game you exit it saves so <coughs> that's pretty much it on that one now like I said guys what we want to do uh, next episode since we had to go on a mission is we're gonna continue building this out and we're gonna wall that all up so what I will do off camera is I will get a lot more wood again and build up a whole bunch of walls and and some more paneling and everything like that because we also want no we don't want to go up right here so what we'll do we'll we'll destroy this we're gonna destroy this right now let's let's take care of this you know what? I don't want to use my iron hatchet for that and you know the only thing that sucks is that you don't get back any wood I think you should get back at least a few logs you know something give us something back but no we don't get anything back yeah and we're gonna continue out like I said and we're gonna build the rooms off of this side okay we'll have the rooms coming off this side we'll have it separate I'm, I'm thinking about making about two blocks or maybe four by four you know and it will have enough room for everything you can make and put in a room right now um, that means your forge your anvil your campfire, your sleeping fur, everything you can put down will be able to fit in the room nice and comfortably. So I think that's going to look pretty cool, you know, after they're all set up and said and done. One thing I wish I could do is leave everything laying there. Once we get the rooms built, you know, just put everything down, a forge and everything in each room. Oops. Which I think would look really cool but we can't because they'll all disappear and then it will be just like a waste of resources but yeah guys that's our future and like I said I will build this bottom thing back um, I, I do think I want to come out a little more this way because remember how I was complaining about last time they didn't snap together well I got this one to snap together so if they're going to be snapping together, I do want to come out this way a little bit and, you know, a little more this way, that way, a little of this, a little of that. And see what we can work out there because give it some more underneath also. You know, we'll make the little office down here. So that'll be pretty cool. You know, like I said, maybe we'll come out here and then we can put two backs one little room back here 
coming off. This is your main office. There will be a little, uh, little low wall right there. Make it as your countertop. And then it will have a doorway coming out. And you'll be able to come out, walk this way, and then walk out right there. So I think that'll be pretty cool, guys. You know, I want to say thanks again to all the subscribers and thank you guys for watching. You know, really love you guys. This has really been awesome and I'm really enjoying myself. I hope you are too. And, you know, I want to apologize for my little rant, but I really needed to get that out. I needed to share that because I'm just overwhelmed by the asinine politicians that we have in office and, and that 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 say they rule our country or whatever I don't know I don't I don't know I it just I won't get back involved in it that's what I'm not doing you know what guys until next time thanks a lot for watching love you guys later